Hey guys, welcome back to another video and thank you for tuning in. Uh, this video, I'm actually bringing my car here at high tech suspension because uh, I think I've got like a loose bolt on my driver's side. Uh, either a, a loose control arm or a bushing might be bad, but uh, I'm right. I'm here right now just to get, you know, stuff checked out and see what the heck is going on with the car. But right now they're about to pull it into the garage. It's over there. Um, so yeah, we're gonna find out and see what exactly is going on. Hopefully it's just a loose bolt and not a bad, bad bushing or something of that sort. Cause then if it is, I would have to come back here. I have to buy the part, come back here and get it installed. I don't know if they would have it here, which I doubt. Um, but yeah, we're gonna check it out and see what's going on. This car sounds good. Let's go, Sam. So, this side, if you want to come with the time driver, quick, you can record it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go. That thing sounds really good. It's camped. Check it out. So he got this car for a steal for 4K and it's got 80,000 miles on it. And it's a CL500. Oh, that's so clean. Guys, check out the interior. Oh, it's so nice in here. What? Okay, so he got this. What were you saying? The so uh, basically, um, the car was sitting for over a year and they thought it didn't drive, so. I got over there, put my scanner in it, recoded a couple things, and I drove it off. And they're like, "Oh, it drives." It's kind of like, oh, "Yeah." <laughs> so, so you trying to go test drive real quick? Really? Oh, oh heck yeah! Know. All right, guys, this is my first time I just sitting in the Corvette. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Man, this thing is pretty low.
So guys, this right here, um, this was completely shot. You can kind of see it. And then compared to that one, it's pretty sturdy. Wow, what a difference. Holy. So we're gonna be actually doing both sides on the car itself just to, you know, uh, get the pair done rather than just getting one side done. You always wanna get both of them done at the same time from what I was told. So that's like the best you could go with. And this, what is this called again? The forward lower control arm. Forward lower control arm, yep. guys. So if you're experiencing like any vibration or like shakiness in the wheel every time you brake, that's probably gonna be um, the part that's bad on your car. It's a very common thing on Mercedes. Yeah, very, okay. Very you guys heard that, it's very common on Mercedes. Very So they just got done installing the uh, arms on it. Again, these go bad like fairly quickly on these cars, especially Mercedes. Every maybe 60,000 miles, you're gonna have to change that or else you're just gonna have to deal with the clunk, clunk. And uh, I'm glad I took care of that because I was pretty much about, you know, done with it. Once this is down, we're gonna be getting the lineman done on her. Guys, and just like that, it's completed. Now we're just going to put it on the alignment rack. So I just got back home and um, the, the ride felt really great. I'm not having any problems with this suspension anymore. It actually feels pretty sturdy, pretty solid. So um, yeah, I just figured, you know, I'll show you guys this video, vlog it, and uh, let you guys know if you're having this sort of problem with yours. Uh, this is a common issue with uh, Mercedes, pretty much all Mercedes. The forearm goes really bad pushing. And so if you experience any clunginess or like, you know, when you pressing the brake you can kind of feel like the bolt is loose in the suspension that's exactly what it is so yeah it's it, it rode pretty good on the way back home and um yeah everything is back to you know 100 tip top shape with the suspension guys thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please go ahead and subscribe smash the like button and um yeah just keep following as uh we keep building with this channel. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.